Hello. Today we will brew Czech beer. It will be a light lager at a brewery like this. Now we will carry out the final disinfection and start brewing beer. Let's quickly go over the recipe. Today we will brew this lager based on Czech beer. Of the ingredients, we will use 20 kilograms of cursed Pilsner malt. Here is our malt. He's already ground. I will show the degree of grinding of the malt. A little later, we will also use 1 kilogram of mellow Eden malt to flavor the beer. We will use Czech made Jotetti Sus hops. And we will also use German made Spalter select hops. Yeast will be used as usual W30 for 7 eighths for lager bottom fermentation. I'll tell you about the temperature pauses. We will maintain 55 degrees for 20 minutes, 63 degrees for 20 minutes, 67 degrees for 40 minutes, 72 degrees for 20 minutes and 78 degrees for 5 minutes. We will use the hydro module 1 to 4. For him, I calculated that we would need 8 liters of trial well water, 56 liters of washing water. How water is calculated, I did not fully understand. We will proceed from the density readings. We will either add a little water, or use a little less. Boil for 90 minutes. I disinfected the equipment and connected the pump. Now we will pour the disinfection chemicals into the sewer and start brewing beer. We will measure with such 5 liter bottles. Now we will touch 80 liters of water. This is what it looks like from the inside. Now I will install the filter system and I will fill in the water. This is our filter system. It serves to filter the work. I poured 100 liters of water here and installed a stir. I programmed the automation for all the temperature pauses I needed according to the recipe. I press the start button, turn on the heaters. Salad will fall asleep at a temperature of 55 degrees. This and will wallow our first pause. Well, since I have 100 liters of water, I need to make a small recalculation of the malt necessary for the grist. In the meantime, we are waiting for the water to heat up. The thermostat shows 21, 8 degrees. While the water is heating, I will show you how I grind the malt. Ideally, the malt should not be ground into flour. Each seed should be broken into three pieces. This is a Meloidin malt. It is darker than Pilsina and tapers to add flavor and aroma to the beer. I will use 2 kilograms of it in the mash. This will be about 5% of the total malt bill. The water heated up to 53 degrees. In starting to slowly add malt. Now I'll turn on the electromechanical stirrer to mix the malt. I pour in all the remaining malt and begin the mashing process. All the malt fell asleep. Boiler temperature 55, 9 degrees. The pump works, the wort circulates, thereby maintaining a uniform heating temperature. The mashing process is going well. We reached the third pause of 67, 3 degrees. We are approaching the last final fifth pause. It's called a mash out and will last for 5 minutes. Temperature in the boiler 77, 7 degrees. The pulse is programmed at 78 degrees. When the temperature in the boiler reaches the desired value, the heating elements turn off. The lights blinked. The heaters turned off. Now I turn off the stirrer. Let the wort sit for 5 to 10 minutes. During this time, the grain should settle and create a filter layer. Then I will pour it into an intermediate container. The mashing process is complete. Automation writes the end. Turned off the electromechanical stirrer. The pump continues to operate during this time. I look into the diopter and wait for the wort to become light. This will mean that you can pour it into an intermediate container. The wort turned out sweet. Legs and arms become sticky. In principle, this is how it should be. The wort is already flowing quite clear. I think we can start the overflow process. Now I'll show you what kind of wort is flowing from the pipe. It can be seen that the wort flows quite transparent. I switch the drainage hose to the intermediate container. Now the process of pouring the wort is underway. This is what it all looks like. Overflow is active. 
this is what I have left in the cauldron. Now, I will wash all this mort with hot washing water, which, according to calculations, needs about 50 liters. During the washing process, I will check the density using a refractometer to arrive at the calculated density before boiling. I have already filled in 32 liters of flushing water. This is the cake left in the boiler. Now, I will remove all the digested mort from the brewery. Now, I'll wash the brewer and pour the mort back into it and put it on boil. Started the process of pouring the work back into the kettle. I turned on the heating elements so that the work began to reach the desired temperature. After the work boils, I will add the first part of the hops. For the first batch, I will use 100 grams of Zaytec hops. About 45 minutes passed. This is what the work boiling process looks like. Boiler temperature 100 for degrees. In 30 minutes, I will add the second part of the hops. I will disinfect and prepare the fermentation tanks before pouring the wort into them. I will make a separate video on how I disinfect beer equipment. I added 100 grams of Sporter Select hops. This is what the beer brewing process looks like. Now I'll connect a counterflow chiller to cool the wort. It is made of stainless steel and consists of two tubes. Cold water is supplied through the outer tube and beer flows through the inner tube. The disinfection process occurs as follows. Beer is supplied from the boiler to the cooling circuit using a pump and returned through a tube to the boiler. Now I'll add another 100 grams of Sporter Select hops to add aroma to the the beer. I brought in the last of the hops. Now, I will turn off the heating elements. Boiler temperature 103 degrees. I connect the cooling circuit to the counterflow chiller. Cold water will flow from the well into the chiller, and hot water will go into the drainage. Initially, I begin to cool the wort into the kettle to bring down the temperature. When the temperature in the kettle drops below 70 degrees, I will start pouring the chilled beer into the fermenters. The process of transferring into fermenters began. After the fermenter is full, I add yeast to it and put it in the refrigerator for two weeks to ferment at a temperature of 12 degrees. I put the yeast on fermentation so that after adding it to the fermenter, the fermentation process would become more active. Yeast used be 30 for 70 11 grams of yeast per glass. I will pour one glass of prepared yeast into each fermenter. The volume of wort in the fermenter is 30 liters. The result was three full fermenters of 30 liters each. The beer fermented in the refrigerator at a temperature of about 10 to 11 degrees for two weeks. Now I'll pour it into secondary fermentation and let it ferment for another two weeks at a temperature of about three to five degrees. 14 days have passed since the beer was transferred for secondary fermentation. I poured it into kegs and carbonized it with carbon dioxide at a pressure of two atmospheres. The beer turned out clear. The foam is quite large. The taste is both soft and with a predominance of slight bitterness. Overall, I like the beer. Bye everyone, see you in new videos.